Hey guys, it's Jean and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are or night. And I'm just going to cut straight to the point. We have a big bag from Ulta and this has skincare and makeup items from Florence by Mills. But in today's video, we are going to be doing the skincare stuff. So, if you want to see what I think about the skincare stuff and watch me try on the products, then keep on watching. The items that we are going to be trying today are going to be the Clean Magic Face Wash. We're also going to be trying the Dreamy Dewy Moisturizer, the Glow Yeah Lip Oil, the Look Alive Eye Balm, the Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask, and the Swimming Under Eyes Gel Pads. So what I'm first going to do is before you do any type of skincare, you're supposed to wash to make sure that your face is clean. So I'm going to take you guys to the bathroom and we are going to do the Clean Magic Face Wash. Now this is the packaging. It looks super cute. It's got the matte purple. It's more like a lilac kind of purple. And it's got the Florence on it and it says by Mills. And this is also cruelty free for all skin types. It's dermatology tested. Also mentions on here that we support youth living life to the fullest. You can go to Florence by Mills for more information. This is made in the US. And on the back of this, it says, when our faces feel dry and neglected, this dewy and creamy wash cleans and rejuvenates. It gets rid of makeup, dirt, oils with biotonical, biotonical ingredients that wash away all the environmental yuck so we can get back to being our beautiful selves. We're going to read how to use it before we go into the bathroom. It says, massage onto wet skin, then rinse well. To use as makeup remover, apply to dry skin and wipe off with tissue. Be gentle, it's better for your skin. Avoid eye contacts and do not rub. Rinse well with water. Let's see for the ingredients. In here, the first thing is water. It does have some sodium in it, which is okay. Willow bark extract, sandalwood, apple, sage. So it looks like it has a bunch of good stuff. So let's open this up. This is what the tube looks like. So let's go test this out. We're actually going to be putting on this headband. So put this on so that my hair is pushed back. Right. And I physically cannot see right now. I'm going to be taking a fresh hand towel. And we're going to be putting it on edge of our sink like that. So the Florence by Mills face wash, um, I don't know if I like it. It kind of, like my skin, when I want to use a face wash, I want it to feel like it actually cleaned my skin and my skin feels the exact same way it did as before and I wet my face like it said to before. And I applied it like it said to to massage onto wet or dry skin and then rinse it off. But I don't really know. 
I'm like trying to, you guys can't really see a difference. I'm not too sure about this product. So, that's a box. We are going to probably doing two in one. I need to see how long the under eye masks. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is we're gonna be doing the, uh, what is this? Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask and the Swimming Under Eye Gel Pads. So, glasses are coming off again. Don't mind my camera, it's been acting super goofy and I don't know why. Oh, this has a little saying on the thing. It says, female humpback whales have best friends and when they hang out they float and eat. Same as me and this is by Mills. All right, so maybe I don't take these off right now. I kind of need to see. All right, so this is, how do you use? These are the face uh, under eye pads. This is use, put a whale under each eye on clean, dry skin with tails facing out or in. You choose their adventure. Please leave them on for 10 to 15 minutes. And this mask is for 20 to 30 minutes. So we're going to open this one up as well. This is in lavender. This is what this packaging looks like on the face mask. This is what this packaging looks like for the eye stuff. This is, you need to apply a thick layer. So I am going to, oh shoot. That's what it looks like. So I am going to get a brush to apply this with and I will be right back. All right, so this is the little brush I'm going to be using. It's a silicone tip brush. We are first going to be taking the iPads and putting them under our eyes. I will be looking at my phone. I do need to see uh, my time and stuff. So we're going to open this. It comes with this little thing. I don't know what that's for. Maybe just scoop them up. It's definitely to scoop them out. Okay, so this is what they look like. They smell weird. That's what they look like. They look gross in this thing. So I'm gonna use this thing to scoop one up. Am I supposed to keep the eye in? This is what it looks like. It smells weird. So we're going to be putting it under. I'm trying to figure this out. I have small eyes. So we're doing it this way because it says you can do whatever way you want it to go. Doing the whale facing out. We're putting that one on. Uh, this doesn't really feel like it's going to stay on my face for the full 10 freaking minutes, but okay. Do I accidentally have two? I accidentally have two! That's why. And then we're going to put this one over here. But literally, these need to be freaking smaller. I am not this... Freaking, I've got a tiny face. Those are as good as they're gonna get. This one's literally touching my eye. I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes for these things. This thing is super weird. They feel weird. We're gonna press them on with this thing. While we are doing this though, I'm gonna put the thing back on top. They have these little eye things that literally fall off. I don't know if they're supposed to be on or what. But right now, this this is weird. It's literally falling down my freaking face. This is way too big. Look at them. And it says you put them in however you want. Oh, five to ten minutes. We're gonna do five. I threw the box. Where are the tails supposed to be facing? Facing in or out? I don't. Well, it has been two minutes, so I don't know. These have the weirdest smell to them. Wait, 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 wait. This face wash was made in the USA. All right, so the back. Made in the USA, okay? The eye gels, things, whatever the hell these are, 
are made in South Korea. So why, why are they made in two different places? Why aren't they all made in the US? Where's the face mask made? The face mask is made in the US. All right, where is the Dreamy Dewy Moisturizer made? This is also made in the US. The Glow Yeah Lip Oil is made in the US. The Look Alive Eye Balm is also made in the US. And these things are not freaking staying on my eyes. How much more time do we have? We have two more minutes. This, this is, <sighs> I don't know. I'm also trying, like, can't really see because I don't have, I'm doing skincare, I don't want to put my contacts in because I gotta like wipe my face and stuff. All right, on the box, how, what do you do when you're done? Also, this thing says, leave them on for under 10 minutes on the box, under here if it will focus. And then on the jar, it says leave them, remove after five to 10 minutes. Remove after five to 10 minutes. Why do you have two different things on your box? One thing's on your box, one thing's on your container. Why? And then you pat the remaining product into your skin. I don't feel like anything's happening. I just feel like they're freaking slipping down my face. They're not staying up. Like if I have to keep pushing these up, what is the point in using them? I don't have to do this with the tart ones. I thought it was funny that I was literally putting two on at the same time though. That was, that was entertaining. All right, we have 30 seconds left. So far, I'm, I'm literally, I don't, I don't understand why this is made in South Korea and the rest is made in the US of the skincare stuff that I have. Also, need to put this spatula thingy back in there. This is a scoop them out. It's, I don't know. I don't know y'all. Two seconds, all right. We're stopping the time. It said 10 minutes, but I'm gonna do it only after five, so. Because it said you could do either five or 10. So we're gonna peel these off. This is what they look like. My skin feels weird. All right, we're going to, I said to pat. Who pats like this for this stuff? Millie, I don't know what you did, but so far the first two products, I'm not having it. I want to try for you guys, my, literally where they were, my, they're, I'm red right here. My cheeks, like, focus camera. Oh God, what am I doing? So my cheeks are red where they slid down. Didn't really help with anything. I feel like it literally made the colors under my eye pop out more. So let's do this freaking face mask, shall we? All right, so when you gotta put it up to your face because you can't really read. Apply thick, even layer to clean skin, avoiding hair, eyes, and lips. Let mask dry for 20 to 30 minutes and gently peel away. Use one to two times a week. All right, we're using this. It's supposed to be in a lavender. It didn't even have anything, is the protecting thing on the top? Cause normally they have like a protecting thing. You know what I'm talking about. Like all brands literally have it. That didn't have a protector on it. Like it's supposed to. Okay then, all right, we're gonna take our silicone thing. This is thick. Doesn't smell like lavender. Right, here we go. Apply a thick layer, so then I'm gonna have to go over it. Does that look like a thick layer? I don't know. Now watch my hair, because that's literally what it says. So I wanna know right now, in the comment section down below, if any of you guys have tried out her stuff. This has a weird smell to it. I am, it smells, I'm trying to, like, ex like I've, I've had this smell from my childhood. I can't, 
I can't put my finger on what it freaking smells like. Oh my, I have literally have smelled this before. All right, that's, the, that's what we're doing. We're putting it on like this. And this is the type of brush I use on literally all my skin like skincare masks that are like this because it's like the best way to do them. I guess we'll apply some to the nose. Why? Why not? We're already here. Let's set a timer for 20 minutes. Timer's on. This is done. My camera's not even picking up my face anymore, so that's a... Plus, this is what it looks like. Like, let me just, let me grab you guys and put you up close. This is what it looks like. Literally, like, what is this? And I know how to, like, and apply masks, but, like, I don't understand why it literally got jumbled in this area when I used a freaking silicone thing. I'm literally, what the, why are there two black dots in here? Okay, those are just air bubbles. Thank the Lord. But I'm literally trying to figure out what this smell is, because it says it's supposed to be lavender. That's not lavender, I can tell you that. I can tell you that. I don't know. Also didn't have a protector on it, which weirds me out. Unless it's like stuck at the top, which I can't really tell if it is stuck at the top. My face is literally not even recognizing that there is, like I'm so washed out. <laughs> so, so far, since we have 18 more minutes, I'm gonna talk a little bit and then I'll come back when the timer goes off when it's time to peel. Um, haven't been the biggest fan of the face wash. Didn't really feel like it cleaned my face. I'll give it another go after this. These iPads are way too big for my face. Way too big. I have a tiny face and Millie Bobby Brown, I know you do too. What is this? And these have a weird smell to them. I didn't smell it when I opened it. Let's smell it. Let's do that when I opened it. They have like no smell to them. The things, like the little Okay, so the whales have like a glitter thing to them, but you can't even tell. They're an ugly color. Don't understand why these were made in South Korea and not in the United States. I would I would love to know. This camera situation is not doing too well. So I'm going to let this do its thing. And I will see you guys in 16 minutes. All right, so we're back a little prematurely, but um, this is Cucumber Rose, the face wash. I didn't smell any cucumber or any rose because I did smell it. Mm. So, no scent. So far, her scents have been off. I'll see you guys back in 15 minutes. All right, so we are back. It's been 20 minutes. This has a weird freaking smell. Now that it's been on, it's like kind of giving me a headache. It is dry. I put my glasses on since it is dry. And it literally says, I need to stop throwing these boxes, people. <laughs> Start at the edges and peel it off. So, there we go. I'm going to peel the rest of this off. Okay, so I finally... Okay, so I finally got all that face mask off. It honestly... It was fine. Just the fact that it had such a strong smell to it 
and it didn't go away after I had the um, mask on my face is what I don't like because it gave me a headache. Like, I have a headache right now from it, so that's honestly annoying. So we are going to do the Dewy Do Dreamy Do Moisturizer. This is supposed to be Cucumber Rose as well. So we're going to see, this is how small the bottle is. I'll read the prices to you guys at the end and let you know, so. Literally feels like it's got barely any product. This has got a safety seal on it, so. It's pretty thick. So we're going to take this and apply it to our face. All right, I can smell the cucumbers in this one. It's just super thick. This is a thick moisturizer. So this is a featherweight hydrating lotion, gives our skin all the good feels and fall in love with a silky formula. Includes two types of lotus flower extracts and vitamin B. Our skin dewy fresh. So we're ready for what's next. The first ingredient in it is, well, okay, so my skin drank it up. So that's a plus. All right, next we're doing the Look Alive Eye Balm. Oh, my freaking glasses. All right, so how do we use this? Use the metal tip to apply a small amount under the eyes and gently tap it in with clean fingertips. This is what it says. It says, after a long night of bin watching, this eye balm helps us look alive. The cooling metal tip plus hydrating and brightening formula with B12, snow mushroom, something extract, and peptide blend acts as a supercharged rush for tired eyes. And then it's got yawns with the asterisk. All right. All right, so this is what the applicator looks like. We are going to try this out. Okay, I will have to say that this cooling thing feels super nice. And then we're going to tap it. I feel like I want to use more this so. I do notice that my under eyes are a little irritated from the whale mask things. So we'll see how the rest of my my face does with this. And my face is red from that mask, but it's also a peel mask, so. Oh god. Alright. Lastly, I can have my glasses on for this. We are going to be doing the Glow Yeah Lip Oil. How to use whenever your lips are thirsty and need moisture. This lip oil serves as a series of looks in hydration while adding a pop of shine for that glow yeah feeling all day. No more dry lips. There's African mango butter and paracrest flour to keep us looking fresh. This is what it looks like. This is cute. It's supposed to have a smell? No. Okay. Oh, geez, 30. Come on. Um. It's supposed to give a little bit of a color. And it's not. Does it look like it gave me a peachy color like this is. It's also an oil. It feels very, 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 very weird on my lips. I think, I can honestly say I think my skin hates me today. 
Um, I don't know how to feel about this. I'm taking this off. I don't. Ugh. Mm -mm. One, it says it's supposed to give you a cut, like a tint. It didn't give me a tint. So let's try it again after shaking it. But here's the problem though. Okay. You, so you see how it's like this? Perfectly fine, right? The minute you flip it upside down, it all goes away. So see, I'll do that again. All the color. So how am I supposed to get it to be? And then when you squeeze it out, it's not even a, it's like lightly that, but it doesn't stay as a tint. So that concludes this video for today. Um, I don't really know what to say. I had higher expectations for this. Now I know it's not like I'm basically spoiled with the skincare I use because I use high-end skincare products. Like, it's no doubt about that, but... The only thing I honestly think that is worth it so far out of these all these items I have tried are the moisturizer and the Look Alive Eye Balm. That's about it. I didn't like the face wash because I didn't feel like I, my face was clean after I used it. Everything has a strong smell and I can't stand that. Didn't like the face mask because it had literally like a, it had like a rubbery smell. Like, not a, like, cut, yeah, basically like a plastic rubber scent to it that literally lingered the whole time. The eye things, girl, you need to figure out if it's 5 minutes and 10 minutes or 10 and 15 because your packages say two different things on them. So, that is annoying. Uh, those are just a little bit too big for my face. I'll... I can probably try them out again, but I honestly don't know. I just keep looking at the mirror that's behind, and I'm not really seeing a difference. My face feels like it was before it started, before we started this video, so. I said I was going to read you off the prices, so I'll read you off the ones that I have, because some things I had to order off of her website, so. The Dewy Moisturizer was $14. The Peel Mask was $20. The uh, Under Eye Pads were $34 for $60. And the Lip Oil was $14. I personally think that the moisturizer and the eye balm were the only things that are worth in this collection for skincare. Now, Sunday's video we have her we have her um, makeup stuff. So, we're going to try that stuff out and hopefully that goes better. But I honestly would say do not waste your money on this stuff. Like actually save your money and get good quality items um face mask i can use any peel face mask that wasn't like something that like wowed me away the smell was horrible i'm a big scent person because i'm very sensitive to smells when they're on my face um the eye gels they weren't too bad they were just way too big for my face but i don't think they're worth 34 dollars honestly the face wash was okay the lip oil was supposed to give you a tint didn't give me a tint not one bit and it's like, there's not that much in here, honestly. It's just, it's, this is just weird. So, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is, like, my first time reviewing something and it actually going completely negative and kind of wrong. So, that's a new for this channel. Um, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Click that notification bell so you know every time that I upload a video because that's the only way you get notified. If the bell decides it wants to work hit the subscribe button if you are new here and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet click it join the fam 
and I will see you guys on Sunday for our next video. Bye guys!